have a really funny habit of assuming we're the only ones good at something. Take tool use. We used to think we were the only species to use tools. Primatologist Jane Goodall made short work of that one, after she relayed observations of chimps using tools to find food. Specifically, they used twigs to fish termites out of their mounds. After that, the idea of tool using animals got much more mainstream, and we've been finding examples of them all over the world. And this year, there's a new species to add to the list. The Hawaiian crow, also known by its Hawaiian name as Alala, is one smart animal. There are only 131 left on Earth, and all of them are living in protected areas and facilities. Scientists have known about crow intelligence for years now, and they've been known as one of the smarter tool users out there. But until recently, most of the attention went to the New Caledonia crow, a species that naturally uses twigs and leaves to make scoops, prods, and poles to solve specific problems. To determine if the Alala were also natural tool users at this level, researchers had to devise an experiment. They stuck bits of meat inside pieces of wooden logs and scattered the area with twigs and sticks of different sizes. Not only were the crows quick to use the tools to begin extracting the meat, get this, they even exchanged the tools if needed and modified some of them to be a better size to get the job done. Even more amazing, they discovered that juvenile Alala independently showed the ability to use tools, even if they had never observed it in an adult Alala or even humans before. So why does this matter? Now that we have several bird species that use tools other than humans, it helps us put together a big picture. How did tool use evolve in our early ancestors? How does it differ between primates and birds? And most importantly, I think, it also gets us thinking about just how little we know of these animals and their behavior, and gets us primed to protect them and their habitats for generations to come. To see a video of these crows, check out the description below, and of course, if nerdy science is your thing, subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment. Stay nerdy!